Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. I uh, thank many of you individually, but if I didn't uh, get to see you or meet you yet, I just want to express our deepest gratitude and thanks for coming and supporting the team. As a pastor in Freeport for the last 17 years, I've gotten to know the people of Freeport. And, uh, and, and as a, a coach and board member with the Freeport Little League, uh, a coach for probably most of those 15 years, uh, or seven, 15 of those 17 years, and a board member for maybe the last seven or eight, I've gotten to know a, a completely uh, separate group of, of families and, and individuals in the community. Uh, and so it's, it's a matter of uh, knowing people and, and understanding the needs, the wants, the hopes, the desires. Uh, and so I, I seriously hope and intend uh, to bring all that I can of that knowledge base to bear uh, in relation to serving as a trustee in the community of Freeport. Uh, I think that, that this is a fantastic place to live and, uh, and have loved it very much. <clears throat> I remember being in college, I went to Adelphi in the late 70s and uh, graduated in 1981 and uh, grew up in Yonkers, went to high school in the Bronx, uh, didn't know much about Long Island except for Jones Beach and the Hamptons. And then uh, went to college and, uh, you know, we were in Garden City and that was kind of my frame of reference. And again, really no, knew nothing at all about Freeport at that point, never really had been in Freeport before. But what was interesting about it was that Freeport had a really bad reputation. And people would talk about Freeport like it was the South Bronx. And I had this sense of just almost being afraid to go there without ever having been there. And the first time I came, uh, I mean, I, I had been in and out of Freeport, I guess in the years after college, but just because of, of um, a, a band and playing in the, in the Right Track Inn on, on Merrick Road and, and Church Street, and the extent of it was driving from the Meadowbrook Parkway to Church Street, and then from Church Street right back to the Meadowbrook Parkway again. So the first time I ever really got to see the community was, uh, in, I guess, the, uh, the summer of 1999, and uh, that, that uh, period of time, actually probably earlier than that, early in 1999. And the first time I came in was when I spoke at the church the first time. And driving around the community, I thought, wow, this is nothing at all like what people say. This is so different. And then uh, taking the position in the church and moving my family in and uh, and getting to know it more and, and even just walking around the community and, and seeing the houses and, and the waterfront and so on. I was like, wow, this is a really great place. And over the last 17 years, uh, I've grown in that conviction more and more. And, uh, and, and I'm convinced that uh, it's, it's really a gem that is hidden in a lot of ways. And it would be great if we could um, unhide it, if we could, if we could, kind of bring out the shine as much as possible. Uh, and so uh, I hope to be able to dedicate myself to that and, and commit myself to that. Uh, and I believe that, that we can take some great steps uh, in that process and, and make that happen in big measure. Uh, it's a great honor for me to be a part of uh, the Drummond team. And, uh, and uh, I just have been very impressed with uh, Judge Drummond from the, the first time and, and he, I don't even know if he remembers this, but um, the first time I, I ever had interaction with him was when he was a judge, and um, I was working with the Little League, and I had to get a game started down at Randall Park, and, uh, and I parked in, a, uh, in where the, the uh, equipment goes in, because I, I was in and out got umpires set up, ran out, and in the time that I went to the field, opened the box, got the umpires, their equipment, and ran out, I had a ticket. And I said, this is not right. I'm, I'm, I'm serving the village here, you know, so I, I went to court and fought the ticket. And when I was talking to the ADA there, he was telling me that they could plead it down and so on. I was like, no, I don't want to pay anything. I don't think I should pay anything. He said, well, you got to talk to the judge about that. I said, all right, well, I'll talk to the judge. 
And then the judge came in, and I was very impressed with the way he, he ran his courtroom. And he didn't know who I was. I didn't really know who he was. But he actually came in and gave a speech about decorum in the courtroom and, and the way that people needed to carry themselves in his courtroom and that he wasn't going to put up with anything in his courtroom. I was like, this guy's all right. I like this guy. So then I went before him and I, and I pleaded my case and I told him the whole thing. I'm working with the Little League. I was there for 10 minutes and so on. And he said to the, to the ADA, can we just, you know, wipe this out? He's like, all right, judge, we'll wipe it out. You say wipe it out, we wipe it out. I was like, now I really like this guy. <laughs> but but what, what really connected us to him was, was his commitment to the village. And I got to experience that with his commitment to the Little League and his support of, uh, of our uh, fundraising efforts and uh, and he's been a big help to us over the last uh, years that I've gotten to know him more and more. And, and I, again, I've seen his commitment to the village in that. And, and I'm glad to be able to uh, join together with him in an effort to try and turn things around. Um, we do believe that, that there are issues that are coming on. Um, if, you, if, you, if you're familiar with the village at all, uh, you know about uh, the, the whole south side, how uh, it doesn't even have to rain. If you get high tide and, and uh, you know, there's been any moisture at all, uh, even if there's no moisture, the streets are still flooded just because of, of the sewer situations and so on. Uh, and so we're concerned about the infrastructure. We're concerned about the quality of the roads and the care of the roads and, and, and things that are going on. And, uh, and we hope to be able to really uh, help to build, rebuild things that have not been built in a while and things that have been neglected and at the same time, uh, be able to do it in such, a, in such a way that it doesn't burden the people of the community, because that's a big deal. Uh, we understand the reality of what it, what it takes to live here, and what it costs to live here. We certainly hope to be able to address those things as much as possible. And if I'm given the opportunity to serve as trustee, I will certainly do all that I can to make it as easy as possible for the people that I've come to know and love so well in this community. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a great night.